What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you a small portion of Pro Tools 9. Of course that is the industry standard program all across the world of recording. Anyway, let's go ahead and dive right into what we're talking about today, which are sends inside of the channel strip, particularly of the mix window. Now, sends actually are basically what it is. You're sending that signal out to somewhere else. That's, that's all it does. That's all it does. So why would you do that? Well, you want to send it out to, generally it's for uh, effects, such as reverb. You want to send this to the reverb unit, or you want to send this to the, um, the ch a different channel or one fader. Um, what this is used for a lot inside of recording, especially Pro Tools 9, is let's say drums. You, you have all your drums on separate tracks, right? You know, the kick is on one, the snare is on one, so you have, you know, 10 tracks just for drums. And you want to be able to control all of the drums with one fader. You could send all of those tracks using sends to one track. That way, that one fader controls it. And uh, let's go ahead and dive right in and let me show you what I mean. Open up your Pro Tools session so you can uh, you can follow along with me. I've got mine fired up here, and I've, I've actually already done. I've already set up my drums to do that. What I just said, which is I have all of my drum tracks sent to one specific track, um, and one fader that controls all of the the drums. So as you can see right here, all these solos right here, these are all my drum tracks. So let's just take a listen real quick. Okay, now if, whoa, okay, now if I'm going to play it and then I'm going to lower the volume with one fader, which I have it sent to this track right here, drums com, which I mean drums complete, I don't know why I abbreviated it that way. Anyway, let's take a listen and uh, we'll control it. Okay, so now you know all the drums are coming out of this channel fader. Just want to make sure that is set in stone. Now I'm going to show you how to use that sense because that's what this video is for, right? So let's send this, all of these drum tracks to the reverb unit and how do we do that? Well the sends are actually located on the channel strip right below inserts right here. Now all we have to do, these are all empty so there's no sends going out from this track. Let's click on it and we don't want to go out because that's the output front to the interface. You can do that as well. You can send it out of your interface to an outboard gear, which is physical. But let's go ahead and use um, bus one and two, because that's what I have set for my reverb is bus one and two. Um, if we cruise over to the right, uh, this is my reverb track. And if I cruise up to the I.O. section, the input right here is bus, bus one and two. So I want to make sure that this guy this guy right here, the drums track, the send is sending to bus one and two. Make sense? All right, good. So now this is this is the fader. So if I click on bus one and two right here, this fader comes up, and this fader controls how much of that signal you send out to the reverb. So I'm gonna hit play, and I'm gonna raise up this this uh, fader slowly, and you'll slowly hear more reverb build up. And I'm gonna exaggerate it just so um, just so it's it, it's uh, it's shown. Okay, so here we go. You hear that? Okay, so that's sending it out to a reverb unit which is on a different track. So there you guys go. It's really that sim simple and easy to do inside of Pro Tools 9. If you do have any other questions, please visit our other videos first, mahalo.com slash Pro Tools 9. Check those videos out. They're super rad. Trust me, I made them all, so I know, just saying. Anyway, um, go ahead and shoot me an email if you do have a question about something um, that maybe I did not answer, or if you just have something like recording general, go ahead and shoot me an email at request at mahalo.com as well as rate, comment, and subscribe down below. But comments are my favorite, guys, so do one of those. Thank you guys for watching.